Welcome back to Fern Feather Outdoors, guys. We're in the off season now. Uh, duck season's over, deer season's over. Turkey season's coming up here in a couple months. But um, other than that, it's pretty much done for the summer. And so, I wanted to do a review on this. So, this is a piece of equipment I'm going to be using this uh, deer season. Got it over Christmas. And uh, I think I'm going to get a couple more as well. It's the Moultrie Mobile Exo Camera. I think it retails for $60, so it's a um, fairly cheap trail camera. I tested it out on a uh, pond for ducks just to make sure it worked and everything. It sent me pictures. And now we're going to take it up to the property, and we are going to be planting food plots up there this year. And uh, we're going to be doing videos of that and everything else. So a little overview on this camera. Comes with this big tree strap. Like I said, it's $62 at store. I think I got this one from Walmart. Uh, there's the inside view. It does take 12 AA batteries, which is a lot. And before we get into it, what you want to get for this is actually I have some SD cards right here that I bought the other day because I plan on buying another one of these cameras. They recommend using just a normal SD card with a, uh, it's got to be a class 10. And these are just HME ones I bought. So that should work good for this camera because I had an extreme in here and I contacted Moultrie Mobile and uh, that's what they recommended. Also, don't use cheap batteries in these. Either use Moultrie's or use Energizers. Actually, I plan on buying either Moultrie's rechargeable batteries or just some Amazon rechargeable batteries because I'm going to buy the solar panel for this. That way, I don't have to keep uh, coming and changing batteries because regular batteries will last between a month and three months just depending on what your settings are on this camera but it's got this big side panel latch on the side um, it's got all your sensors and everything here uh, here's the adapter for your cellular connection so we open it up and on the side here you have your SD card slot you have your on and off button you can format your SD card there and then that's to connect it or show you the status and then these lights here you got four lights and depending on what your camera reads it'll show different colored lights and it says it up right here and it'll tell you how to troubleshoot and stuff like that and then there's instructions as well um, so that's pretty much it for the camera itself. It's pretty simple. It's uh, nothing crazy. Now I'm making this video for you guys that have never used one. Uh, I really wanted to, but I was kind of skeptical about them. But now that I have one, I absolutely love it. And if you can get the batteries to stay long in these, then it'll be worth it. Here's the Moultrie Mobile app. And here's some pictures. That it takes you can set this camera up to take 2 4 8 and 18 megapixels so you can change the megapixels of this camera which is awesome depending on what you're using it for um, it's supposed to have a 70 foot range of detection and uh, in the app itself, it can actually pattern your pictures for you. It can tell you the difference between a deer, a turkey, person, or a vehicle, I think. You can set it up to send them to you immediately, or hourly, or however you want it to. There's a bunch of different settings in there. Um, the only difference between this one and some of the higher-end ones that Moultrie has, um, I think this is the newer one that they came out with um, it does not take video which is fine for me um, if you're looking for video then I would suggest getting one of their um, other mobile cameras they're around the hundred hundred twenty dollar mark but if you're just wanting something easy to use it's cheaper I would recommend getting 
the XO. That's pretty much it, guys, for this review. Hopefully, y'all will try it out. If you do, make sure to come back and comment. Let me know how it was. and uh, Or you can go on my Instagram. Direct message me there and uh, let me know how you all liked it. So, that's all I have for today. If you all have any questions, make sure to comment down below and I'll try to answer them. And um, throughout the deer season, I'll show you some pictures and stuff I get from that camera. So, hopefully it'll be great mix with the food plot before we end this another reason why i wanted this camera and i'm gonna buy more is our property is an hour away so having those truck cameras up there are nice and the ones we have up there they'll last all year long almost but getting pictures now from my house can let me know when i need to be up there and let me know when the deer's moving and just keeps me up to date without having to drive an hour every single time I have to go up there. So it's just another thing to think about. And uh, yeah, so hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment, subscribe, and uh, like this video. It helps a lot. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.